surgery day and we're here at the South Tower. I'm going in to register. I'm so excited. Um, I was about to cry this morning because my little brother right there, he tried to stress me out for the mat. I thought I wasn't gonna be here on time and uh, I'm very scared. Now I'm about to register, sign in, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I finally made it. Um, I had to be here at 8.45 and um, I got here at 8.25, I think, and I registered at 8.29. So basically 8.30 on the dot. And now we're just in the procedure, like surgical room, just waiting for me to get called back. I'm here with my cousin, Messiah. Say hi to YouTube. <laughs> I got my back. I'm in pajamas, pajamas down. This hat's gonna come off. I wanna be bold in there. But I'm excited. I last night I had to wash with the pre-surgical wash. Made my skin so dry. But it's only from the neck to the toes. And I'm surprised my face did not dry out. Like I have not put no lotion, no deodorant, nothing. Nothing. And my face still looks moisturized. As for my, look at my hand. Ashy. Everything else below my neck down is so ashy. And I had to take, I had to do it last night and this morning. I'm excited. Surprisingly, I'm not nervous at all. Like, not nervous. They keep asking me if I'm nervous. I'm like, no. But we're just waiting. Once I get called back there, then I'll show you more. Your stuff, what were you on? We already, we already arrived pre-procedure right now. Well, right now you're pre-procedure. And then we're about to go to three because it's anesthesia. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I'm back here, got my IV and there we go. Um, got my big purple gown on, and it is currently what time is it? Nine. Nine twenty-four. I arrived at eight thirty. My surgery is not until ten thirty. Um, yeah, I got my IV. Check my blood sugar, blood pressure, draw some blood. They, um, what else did they just do? Ask me a whole bunch of questions. Sign the I'm not pregnant form. And blood pressure was kind of high because I'm a little bit nervous, but I don't think I'm that nervous, but blood pressure don't lie. Um, what else do I gotta say? I'm just super excited. I know it's gonna be over in a blink. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Besties here. She don't know when that anesthesia gonna creep up on her. And they got the thing on my face. I had to give them the year number because you were here. Um, what else I did? That? Last night I had to watch with the pre surgical wash, and then this morning I had to do it again. Last night I also had to take the pre no, 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 I had to take the anti acids pill or whatever. Um, that's the only medicine that I took yesterday. And then when I got here, I had to wipe off with those wipes Stasia was talking about. Um, they weren't as sticky as she said. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I had to wipe each one for one leg, one for the other leg, one for one arm, one for the other arm. And then two for my stomach, wash off my stomach or whatever. And then, yeah, I'm just naked and up under here. 
Um, it's like it's like double layered with something. Something's in there, and it's blowing up with hot air right here. It's hot in here. Blowing up with hot air. I look like a telephone. And there's something wrapped on my feet to keep me from getting like blood clots or. She was pinching me. Mm. Sorry, snack bag. <laughs> you can um. see it's blowing up. I was wondering, so I was like, your titties <laughs> is not that big. <laughs> My boobs is all the way down here. <laughs> uh -uh. And they said it's for blood clots. Yeah, blood clots and something else she said, but. Okay, so my mom's here to see me. Say hi, mom. Hey. Can you see you? What do you want to say? Who am I talking to? The world. Hey, world. So we're just in here waiting for Michigan to um, go into surgery. And she's already transformed. Transformed. Mentally into eviler than me. Okay. Anyway, so my mom's here to say, send me all farewell. I just took two Tylenols. Um, I don't know what milligrams they are. I think they 500 each. I think it's 500 milligrams each. Then I got the blood clot shot. Then I got, what did she say she put in my arm? Huh? In my arm too? No, that white thing. She said it was something else. But um, anyway, still not nervous. I feel like there's something else I wanted to say. Um, there she go again with her phone calls. I call Charlene. She wants to. She wants to say hi. Yeah. Everybody wants to send me y'all. Um, Hi, say hi to my YouTube. Hi, YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I went and got Chick fil A after that, but maybe. Hello, guys. I don't know if Michigan wants me to record, but I'm recording. So it is now 3 03. She went back at 8 45. They got started probably around like 10 45 ish she was done by one and then um i was they say like an hour for her to recover or something so she was done you know the hour was up but then they couldn't find a room so we were waiting for a room so now i just got into the room at 303 i'm just waiting for her to come in so <laughs> when she comes in you guys will see Just make sure you put your mask up. You want to try going left, maybe to the corner? Right now? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. Right now? Yeah. Is your pain at a five when you're sitting too? Mm -hmm. You can walk super dizzy. Guys, so right now, we just got done walking. Yeah. <coughs> We're just getting walking. She's feeling nauseous. Not as much Try. nausea as I feel pain, gas pain. That gas pain is almost like it's pressure and it's like tightness at the same time. And I want to just fart and push, but you can't push because your stomach hurts. Mm. So it's like, how mm. am I getting this fart out or burp out or? Yeah. I've been having to call for the longest time, but I can't call for my son to hurt. Do you want me to give you the bear? Sure. Huh? You want the bear? Sure, it don't fucking help. It helps a little bit, but. Mm. Okay, guys, so right now we are walking again. 
already. She's doing awesome. Like just got just got out of there. She want to walk all the time. Walk, turn it around. Just hold on to that. You're good. Yeah. So she's doing amazing. Look at her go. She wish she could fart. She wish she could fart. Okay, so it's been how long? I was done surgery at 12. You done surgery? Uh-uh. One? <laughs> yeah. You get that on the side? I was done surgery at one something. All that slobber yes. from surgery. Ew. But um, then I was waiting for a, a room for like two hours. Didn't get up here until when? Two something? Three? Three. Three. And then... Immediately after surgery, when I woke up, I was in and out, in and out. But that gas, listen, listen here, listen here, listen here. There's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. It's like the Babadoo from the dark side of, <laughs> from the dark side of Princess and the Frog, you know, the dark side. <laughs> the Babadoo. They are dragging your stomach down. They're squeezing every organ, every everything, and they're squeezing it and dragging it down to hell. And that's how it feels. And then the tightness. I told my mom and my cousin that it feels like I just entered a gang, and seventy gang members just beat beat my stomach up. That's how it feels internally. And the the most pain is the gas pain. And I asked them, I was like, why can't y'all suck the gas out? There has to be a way to suck the gas out when y'all done. There's no way y'all just let it roam throughout my whole entire body and cause me that much pain. While I was getting a room, I was banging on the side of this. I was like, uh. And I knew to get it out, I had to walk. So I was like, I need to walk, I need to walk, I need to walk. So it is 6.54 and I've had three walks already. Um, not even an hour before, after I came into this room, I used the bathroom. So I got that off the thing. I ate some ice. Um, I could take all my pills, sipped it with water. Didn't throw, haven't thrown up yet. Not going emergency wood. Um, which is plastic. Uh, what else? Yeah, I took a few sips of soup, and I could literally feel that going down. It's no joke, but my stomach is so tight, I can't push to cough, laugh, or fart. So I'm just trying to get the burps up as they come. But I wish I could fart so bad. Hopefully after I do a couple more walks, I can fart. But, yep, definitely stay in the night. <laughs> um... You want me to go pee or something? No, I already went pee. I don't think I've consumed enough liquids yet. I feel like now that you said that, I do have to pee, but I'm just going to wait a little bit more. Um, but I just got to rock back and forth to get this gas out. All this one is the gas out. Just get the gas out. Take me to the gas station so I can <laughs> pump it out. Oh, gosh. All right, well, yeah. I check with y'all. Check with check with y'all later. <laughs> oh gosh, all right, bye. So, welcome back to my channel, guys. Today is the second day at the hospital. I stayed the night last night. Um, Just wanted to update you guys on a little bit what's happening. Um, I'm still able to use the bathroom. I'm able to um, swallow my pills. Um, luckily, I have not had nausea at all. I've just had like a lot of gas pain. Um, yesterday, I wasn't able to pass gas uh, through farting. I was only able to pass gas through burping. But this morning, I took a walk and I came back 
and I passed gas, which I was so happy about. And then I took a walk by myself and I came back and I passed more gas. So um, needless to say today, I've been passing gas through farting and burping. So I'm happy about that. Um, I'm able to do the breathing thing. I'm able to get up to 2000. Anyway, I do that like 10 times. And then, so today so far, I've gotten crystal light, um, chicken broth. It's only like a swig in there. Every time I get my breakfast, lunch, or dinner, I'm not able to finish it. I'm not hungry at all. Um, here's the jello, sugar free jello. It's not bad, but. As you can tell, I wasn't able to finish it. And then ice. I eat the ice, but then I, then it melts, and then I just sip on the water. Um, the lady just, it's, what time is it? It is 4.01 right now. Um, the lady just came in and took my dinner order. I'm getting vegetable broth this time with crystal light. Um, I think I'm going to get up and walk in like 30 minutes so I can pass some more gas. And then look at my little bear. Got some long legs. And he's like really firm. He's, or if I have to cough, I just hold him against my stomach <laughs> and cough. Um... Yeah. Cough, buddy. Sure, I'm taking him home. Um, but I spoke to my surgeon today. Um, and then I spoke to the NP that I have with the program. He came by a couple of times. And then the dietitian lady came by, gave me my eating schedule for... Um, for the next six months, what I'm supposed to be eating and how I'm supposed to be eating. And then, uh, the physical therapy lady came and told me how I'm supposed to be getting in and out of the car. What I'm how um my walking schedule, my exercise schedule, program, my w home walking program, five days a week. Um, I'll show you guys all pictures of these. And my eating schedule as well. Um, basically, I can't bend. I need to use my legs to drop down if I drop something. Um, I need to bend my legs. I can't bend over my stomach. Um, I can't twist. Can't bend, twist, or what's the other one? So I have to get out of the bed like this. Put my legs up, twist my whole body, not just my midsection. And then swing my legs off and get out. Exercise plan. And this is my eating schedule for this week. What I can eat. I'll show you the top half of the page first. Anyway, that's it for today. I'm supposed to be getting discharged um, around 6 o'clock. So I have two more hours here. I'm going to get in a walk, try to drink the rest of my broth when that comes for dinner. And then brush my teeth, change my clothes. And then my ride should be here. It's relaxing here. I know a lot of people don't like the hospital, but I like the time, the me time. 
it's nice. And I've just been sleeping anyway, so. <sighs> the pain has gotten a lot better. They've been staying up on my um, pain meds anyway, so. But still, the discomfort is getting better because I'm passing the gas, so. And nothing like yesterday. It's way better. But, yep, today is the 19th at 4.07, and I'm going home at 6 o'clock. Yay! So happy. Um, but the thing is, I've, I've asked a bunch of people, and none of them have been able to tell me what the inside of my stomach looks like now. I know what the graph and stuff says, but I was thinking that they were going to have pictures or an x-ray or anything. They used, they, uh, my surgeon said that they used to take x-rays and they used to have people drink the nasty, um, nasty drink or whatever to take x-rays of what their stomach looks like. But, um, they don't do that anymore because people usually throw up and have a hard time with it just to get an x-ray of it. So they don't do that anymore. But other than that, the recovery time has been great. Um, I'm here at Valley Health West Win Winchester Medical Center, and all my nurses were really nice. Uh, Rosa, Ashley, Sarah, uh, Erica. What else? They were all nice. Everyone was very nice, and very nice nurses and stuff. But and my surgeon was Dr. Glenbot, and yeah. My recovery has been good so far. I have not been nauseous at all. I'm not one to be nauseous anyway um, off of anesthesia. So that's usually what people get nauseous off of. But I don't get nauseous off of anesthesia. So, so far, I haven't been nauseous at all. Um, I feel like once I get home and I start testing out these on, this, on the second week, different foods and stuff that I have to try to eat like puree foods and stuff that's when i probably feel like i would get nauseous but i'm going to stick to the broths and so on and so forth because i'm scared about getting nauseous right now even if i cough or i try to push a fart or anything like that my stomach hurts so i can just imagine all the energy and strength i'm going to use trying to throw up and it's just gonna i can just see it now it's gonna hurt so bad so i don't want to do it at all i don't want to do it but, um, yeah, I can't believe it happened. I can't believe it. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. I'll talk to y'all later when I get home. See how it is. Or in the car when I'm leaving. <laughs>